Right, I'm making this video because I watched another video on YouTube of someone having one of these HP streams that they upgraded the hard drive on, um, took out the Wi-Fi port, and then put a M.2 hard drive in there. Well, that didn't work for mine. It wouldn't find the new hard drive. And um, I found out this is the 32 gigabyte model, not the 64 gigabyte model that the guy was using on his YouTube video. So you can see the model right there, model 14 AX022NR. Um, so anyway, 32 gigabyte version. Um, I'm gonna open this up and I'll show you the inside, but then I'm also gonna show you what you've gotta do to have this thing actually boot once you install Windows on the new hard drive. And it's very confusing online with Refine. Refine is a software program you gotta use, but there really isn't anything on there that shows you an easy way to put it on the USB stick so it boots from that. And then once you get into Windows, you can actually put it on the old 32 gigabyte hard drive and then load that first, and then it'll load into the new hard drive and load Windows. So it'll make sense when I go through it um, after this. Okay, so now we've got the laptop opened up. It's really easy. You pull up the little rubber strips uh, on the back of it, take out all the screws, and then use a little tool on Amazon, you can get this kit, comes a little bag, all kinds of stuff for 10 bucks. Um, highly recommend it because you can use it for phones, laptops, anything. And you just work your way under and then the whole back cover pops off. Real simple. So on this, I've already done the upgrade. So there's a video on this already um, that's got a lot of clicks. You'll see it if you just search HP Stream uh, hard drive upgrade. Here is where the Wi-Fi port was. So you remove the Wi-Fi port. Here's the connectors that went to it. Then this adapter goes right into it. And then you put some double-sided tape right there and you mount your M.2 hard drive uh, on there. And this is a 250 gigabyte one. So that makes a big difference on this one. I mean, this really turns a little streaming laptop into one that's actually functional. Another thing is this one comes with a four gigabytes of RAM. It is PC3 RAM, DDR3. It's not PC4 like the 64 gigabyte uh, model of this, and I ordered the wrong one. So on Amazon, right here, you can get an eight gigabyte, and this was only about $26, uh, so a really good deal. And I'm gonna go ahead and swap that out while I've got this open. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to show you what it looks like on the inside, but again, there's videos about this already. And uh, the main thing that I wanna point out is the program refined and how you get that loaded so you can actually boot from this new hard drive once you have windows loaded on it all right so now here we are with the computer loaded up and i have the eight gigabytes of ram which made a big difference on this so I highly recommend that for 25 dollars. now you'll see that we have the local disk which is the new m.2 one that's 250 gigabytes and then the local disk D is the old 32 gigabyte built-in hard drive. On that, I've copied over the file that I'll try to put a link to, to where you can download it to where it's ready to go. But this is what it looks like, this EFI. And you can literally just copy this exact folder right over to a flash drive and it'll be bootable. And it won't be so confusing when you go to read a about refined and how to install it and blah 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 it's like you got to be a computer programmer so if i can get you this file uh, or at least a link to it then all you got to do is copy it over to a flash drive get windows loaded and then once you get windows loaded you can move it right over from the flash drive to your old hard drive and then set the boot sequence to the old hard drive first and it'll run through it and uh, we'll do it right now and then it'll load right into that new hard drive. So I know it probably driving you crazy that you put the new one in and it's saying hard drive not found and you can't get it to load because you can do the uh, flash drive of Windows 10 install and it'll install the whole thing on the new hard drive. But when it restarts, it does not load because it's not booting from that new hard drive. It, this BIOS or whatever is not able to use a Wi-Fi port and uh, boot from a new hard drive on that port. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you have the Refind installed and the computer starts because it looks a little different. And it'll be the same way whether you have um, the flash drive in or if you 
you have it on your old hard drive. There it is. So that's refind. So this is what you do. You just wait. Automatic boot goes through this, and then it will find the new hard drive, and it will boot right into Windows for you. right there so that should solve your problems hopefully it helps somebody out and saves them 10 hours of research